In this video, we're going to talk about the mean and variance of a random variable. So let capital X be a random variable. So in this case, uh, it's going to be a, a discrete random variable, since we're dealing with those. And the first definition is that of the mean. So the mean takes on a new name. It's also called the expected value. And we'll talk about why it's called that when we do an example. It's actually pretty cool. So the mean slash expected value of a random variable is defined as follows. So first of all, we have to decide uh, what notation to use. We can either use x bar, that's for the sample mean, or we can use mu, that's the symbol for the population mean. So it turns out that the symbol that people use is mu. And my best guess for that is that we actually have all of the values of the random variable. So we have, in essence, a population. Hence, we use population notation. So mu, that's going to be the symbol we're going to use for the expected value. And it's the sum. The symbol means you add. And you take each value of your random variable, and then you multiply it by the probability of that value. Okay, so that's the definition of the mean or expected value of a random variable. Then you have um, the variance. Okay, the variance of a random variable, the notation we'll use is sigma squared, and that's equal to the sum of x minus mu quantity squared, p of x. And then the standard deviation would simply be the square root of this. So the SD would just be sigma. So you would take the square root of the variance. Now, most people use software to compute all of these things. So typically, you know, you don't need to do these things by hand. Um, but let's go ahead and do an example by hand, just one, so you see it done. Let's say we have a capital X. Say that's the number on a die, number on a six-sided die. Okay, and someone's going to roll a die. So capital X could be one through six. So let's go ahead and make the probability distribution. We can write it as a table. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can assign probabilities. And it's the same probability for, for each number. 1 over 6, 1 over 6, 1 over 6, 1 over 6. This is a pretty pretty cool example. All right, so mu, this basically says you take each value of x and you multiply it by the probability of x. So first you take 1, that's our first x, times, and then the probability, so 1 over 6. Boom, there it is. Plus, then you do it again, so 2 times the probability 1 over 6. Let's keep going, plus 3 times 1 over 6, plus 4 times 1 over 6, plus 5 times 1 over 6, plus 6 times 1 over 6. Okay, and then if you put this in your calculator, I have a calculator here, you should get 3.5, actually have it memorized, I think, we'll find out. So 1 over 6 plus 2 times 1 over 6, whoops, 2 times 1 over 6, plus 3 times, probably a shorter way to do this, yep, there is, but it's too late, <laughs> 4 times 1 over 6, plus 5 times 1 over 6, plus 6 times 1 over 6. Okay, enter. So 3.5, yep, so 3.5. So 3.5 is the mean of the random variable. And we're saying the random variable is uh, the number that we get when we roll the six-sided die. So what in the world does this mean? Well, you can roll the die forever, right? You can just keep rolling it. And every time you roll it, uh, the probability of getting any particular number is 1 over 6. But like, let's say you roll the die twice. Say you roll it once, and you get a 1. You roll it again, and you get a 3. The average of your rolls in this case, the average roll you have is 1 plus 3 over 2, so 2. Say you roll it again, so you get 1, 3, and um, say you get uh, uh, 5. 
So now you have 9. So what's your average roll? If you add these up, you get 9. So you divide by 3, so your average roll is 3. So if you keep doing this, if you keep rolling the die forever, in the long run, in the long run, your average roll approaches 3.5. That's called the strong law of large numbers. It's a super, super important um, um, thing in probability theory and in statistics. So in the long run, if you keep rolling a die, the average of your rolls approaches this, this number, which came from a formula, right? So the real life average will approach this number that comes from a mathematical formula. So um, that's it.